In this classic related rates problem, water is flowing into a cone-shaped tank, and we have to figure out how fast the water is rising. Water flows into a tank at a rate of 3 cubic meters per minute. The tank is shaped like a cone, with a height of 4 meters and a radius of 5 meters at the top. We're supposed to find the rate at which the water level is rising in the tank when the water height is 2 meters. We've drawn our picture. Now let's label some quantities of interest. It's fine to use numbers for the quantities that stay fixed throughout the problem, like the dimensions of the tank. For any quantities that are varying with time, I need to use letters, variables, to represent those quantities. So the height of the water is varying throughout the problem. I'll call that h. And it might be handy to also talk about the radius of the part of the cone that's filled with water, I'll call that R. Ultimately, I want to find the rate at which the water level is rising, so that's dH dt. Next, I want to write down equations that relate the quantities of interest. From geometry, I know that the volume of a cone is one-third times the area of the base times the height. So the volume of water in the cone is going to be one-third times pi r squared times h, since h is the height of the piece of the cone that contains water, and pi r squared is the area of that circular base for that piece of a cone. I'm calling it the base even though it's at the top. There's one more equation that's going to be handy here that comes from similar triangles. From similar triangles, we know that the ratio of sides for the little triangle here is the same as the ratio of sides for the big triangle. In other words, we know that r over h is going to be equal to 5 over 4. I can use this relationship to eliminate one of the variables in this equation. Let's think for a minute which one we want to eliminate. Since we're ultimately interested in finding dH dt, we need to keep the variable h in here. But since we don't have any information about how r is changing, it's a good idea to get rid of the r. So let's solve for r here, and we get r equals 5 fourths times h, and plug that back into our volume equation. So we get v equals 1 third pi times 5 fourths h squared times h, or in other words, v equals 25 48 pi h cubed. Now we're going to derive both sides of the equation with respect to time t to get rates of change into the problem. Remember that we're thinking of the volume of water and the height of water as functions of time t. We get dv dt equals 25 48 pi times 3 h squared dh dt. Now let's plug in numbers and solve for the quantity of interest, dH dt. From our problem, we know that water is flowing into the tank at a rate of 3 cubic meters per minute. So dV dt is 3. We're asked to find the rate at which the water level is rising when the water height is 2 meters. So that's when h is 2. Plugging in those values and solving for dH dt, we get dH dt is equal to 3 divided by 25 48 pi times 3 times 2 squared, which is 12 over 25 pi meters per second, or about 0.15 meters per second. This video solved a related rates problem involving volume and used the trick of finding similar triangles to eliminate one variable.